Alright, so today, I'll be giving you some more tips for optimizing the space in your base. You might already be familiar with this method, but I'll be sharing some ideas that I haven't seen anyone talk about yet, so hopefully you can apply this in your base. I'm going to show you some examples of how you can apply this method that I'm about to show you, and I will also be explaining how it works. So the way that we're going to do this is by stacking different furniture so that we can save a lot more space. All of us most likely know that we don't have plenty of space to work with, at least in terms of the horizontal plane or the horizontal axis of our base. But if you can make it so that the items in your base have a smaller footprint, then you're going to have more space letting you build more stuff, or at the very least, give your pals a lot more space to navigate in. We are going to use furniture for this method because this is the only way to make it work. You are not going to be able to stack the different items on top of each other just by themselves, and using foundations or platforms are also not going to work because the item is going to break after you remove the foundation. But if you are using furniture, then any item that you place on top is still going to remain intact even after you break the furniture. So for the first one, it's going to be for the logging site and the stone pit. These are two of the bigger structures in your base, and they can really take up a lot of space, especially if you have multiple. Just having two of them is already taking up four tiles, so making use of the same footprint and doubling the efficiency is going to be very useful. In order for us to do that, we are going to need to stack five square tables for the logging site so that we can place the one on top. And when you're placing the first one, keep in mind where it's actually facing because you would want the logging site and the stone pit to be facing opposite directions. If you place the logging site and the stone pit back to back, it's actually going to save you a lot more space. And so after you place the one on top, you can go ahead and break the furniture and then place the second logging site underneath. I also want to mention that depending on how high your roof is, you might actually have to place a roof on top of the first logging site so that your pals don't get stuck. But if you're like me, and you have a room that is only 3 walls high, then you don't need to worry about this. As for the stone pit, this is pretty much going to be the same. The only difference is that you only need to stack 4 square tables instead of 5. There is also a chance for some of your pals to be stuck above the stone pit, and so you simply have to place a roof directly on top, and that will no longer be an issue. I have tried this with many different pals, including the bigger ones like Astigon, and they all have no problem working in this kind of setup. One thing though, is that you might see some of your pals standing still in front of your logging site or stone pit. But if you get closer, you can actually see that they're still working, even though their animation is not showing. I just wanted to mention this, just in case you encounter it. This kind of setup is honestly really good, because you essentially have double the resource gathering, and only taking up the same amount of space. For the next one, I'll be showing you how to stack your storage. And for this example, I'll be using the refined metal chest because this is the best one that you will eventually be using. To do this, we are going to stack two square tables on top of each other and place a single wooden bench on top of it. I like to use the corners and the edges of the table to sort of measure or to estimate where I want the storage to be. And so after you place the square tables in the wooden bench, then you should be able to place the storage box on top with no problem. And then simply get rid of the furniture and place the next refined metal chest down below. If you want to make things more accurate and fit more nicely, then you can glide up using Hang Yu, and you should be able to measure the placement properly by aligning the storage box to the one on top as you glide up in place. This kind of setup is very useful because it helps you organize your storage in a more compact way. For example, you can have your rare and uncommon skill fruits on one chest, and you can have the epic ones on top. So all of it is technically in one place, but the other one is just on top. And the next one is going to be for the assembly lines. This is another one of those items that take up a lot of space, so I think anyone will appreciate it if you can make it more compact. To achieve this, we need to place 4 square tables on top of each other. This is going to let us place the assembly line at the very top, but also make sure that you leave one tile of space between the wall and either the left or right side of the assembly line. Later on, we're gonna be using the space on either side to make some sort of platform to make it easier to access the assembly line at the very top. So definitely make sure that you leave this space empty. After you place the first one, you can go ahead and remove 2 of the square tables and place the next assembly line underneath. And just like what I mentioned before, you can use Hang Yu to glide in place, and that is going to help you see if you are aligning the assembly line directly to the one above. And for the next one, get rid of the other furniture and then place the final assembly line. After you set up all of the assembly lines, go ahead and place a platform like this so that you will have an easier time accessing the assembly line on top. I would say that this one is completely optional, but I don't like having to jump to access the other assembly lines, so I decided to have this here. 
any of your handiwork pals are gonna be able to interact with any of the assembly lines so this is definitely a great way to save a lot of space in your base and these are just a few examples of what i could come up with but you can also experiment and see what other items you can stack to save more space i did not include the one for the electric furnace and the crusher because even though we are technically saving space by stacking them those items are not really the biggest so it doesn't make much of a difference compared to stacking the stone pit logging site and the assembly lines with that being said, that is pretty much everything I have for this video. If you found this video useful, definitely make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.